Okay, so this is my version of a 100% PVC uh, stack gate. So the bottom gate is one and a quarter PVC. Just your standard one and a quarter PVC with your T's on the corner. And then I just have another small piece coming up here. All right. And then the top gate is my standard one inch PVC. This is all my normal gates are all one inch PVC. I wrapped a little bit of uh, duct tape around here to make a stop. And if you look, this one inch PVC slides right down in the one and a quarter, just like that, you have a static gate. Now you can do the same thing down here. So since the one and a quarter is pretty thick, what I do is I just take an old broken piece of one inch, slide it over the stake, And that'll make it a little bit less wobbly so that the gate can slide down right over top of that. Put these up, it's in two pieces. So I went ahead and put the bottom piece up. You can see the small extensions up there. This makes it easy for somebody helping you or if you're doing it by yourself, you can just tell them to put that gate there. They don't have to wrestle with a great big stack gate. So once that gate's up there, you literally just lift that gate over there up and just slide it over the top. It's up. Pretty easy, and this just slides on and off. It's definitely stable enough. One thing I like to do sometimes to add a little bit more uh, stability. Now, one obviously you could do taller stakes. Um, I also like to get a T or a cross connector, put it down here at the bottom, and then you can run an extra foot out either one side or both and that gives you a lot of support at the bottom. But for most cases, uh, this won't even need it. This will last plenty for a race day. Uh, so yeah, so there's the PVC one. This is one of my standard conduit ones that I use. So it has a three quarter EMT, maker pipe, and then just the one inch, the same gate. This is the same top gate as what goes on there. It's just a one inch PVC and it slides down on top. Um, sometimes I do tie them down. I didn't say that I never tied them down. When I do, I always tie them at the corner here. I never go to the top. That leaves the top completely open for any movement. And then I'll tie them whatever direction goes so that it doesn't get into way of the flight. Anytime you make a PVC gate um, out of 10 inch PVC, or 10 foot PVC, which is what most people buy, you only need two pieces of PVC per gate. So essentially you cut off a six foot piece. So this is a six foot piece going this way. And then it's left you with a four foot piece left over. You do two of those, that give you your two uh, vertical legs. Then you end up with two four foot pieces that you just use a slip on connector. And then you chop that down to the seven foot that it needs to be for the top piece. So that way two pieces of PVC, uh, these one and a quarter inch pieces for the big gate that I just built are like five bucks a piece. So it's $10 in PVC and a few dollars in connectors for that whole gate.